Stephanie and Lainey from VP. Hi guys, my name is Samuel Mandiola, but my friends call me Sam. I live in Chile. Kia ora, my name is Sheree and I'm a trustee on the National Wetland Trust. I'm here with Transition Wimslow uh, and we're at Lindo Moss. The drainage of peatlands, mostly for dairy farming in the Netherlands, creates up to 2.5% of anthropogenic CO2 emissions in the Netherlands each year. That's more than the CO2 emissions of 1.7 million cars combined. 3 billion tonnes of carbon is stored in peatlands, which is more than all the forests uh, in the UK, France and Germany combined. But as well as the other parts of the world, most of them are being drained in order to have agricultural land. But when we drain and degrade them through our current land use practices, this causes ripples to go through the system and results in losses of the carbon sequestration, our ability to be able to retain our valued species, and also causes decline in important cultural practices and knowledge systems. This landscape behind me has got planning concept for peat extraction, destroying its biological potential. This is what Lindo Moss could be like. It's cotton grass growing and underneath it, this beautiful lawn of sphagnum moss. People extract the sphagnum moss to sell it to Korea and Japan. But the problem is that this extraction is not sustainable. So on this World Bog Day, we're calling on the Dutch government to ban the use of peat soils in horticultural soils used for both hobby and professional gardening. We are calling all people across the UK, including individuals, local communities and the UK government. And we have to really move and take action to stop the drainage. We are sending a message to our Prime Minister and to her government to be courageous world leaders like we were during COVID and to truly adopt an economic model that doesn't act like master to the environment. Happy World Bog Day. Happy World Bog Day. <laughs>